Welcome back to the Electrician's Tool Channel. Today we're gonna to talk about my uh, newest meter that I have. This is the Etchtech GX900. Uh, this is not a new multimeter on the market from Etchtech. This, Etch, this uh, meter has been out since, uh, I think they put it on the market around 2010, maybe 2011. Uh, when they released this multimeter, this multimeter was supposed to be a direct competitor uh, against the Fluke 289. And as you see, after we go through some functions and I'll, we take a uh, look at this meter, we'll see that they, they did just that. Now, some of the things that they did, um, um, that the Fluke, the same as the Fluke did, some of the fun, uh, features are the exact features as is on the Fluke. And they went a step further, some of them are better um, than the Fluke 289. But uh, overall, it's not a really a bad meter. It wasn't a very popular meter by Etch Tech. Uh, I haven't seen many of these uh, on the market. Uh, and this is a, it, it was a very expensive meter. I think it was almost $600 for this meter. But um, it's a, like I said, it's a real nice meter. And let me see what I wanted to get from you guys. Um, it, it's, it's, it's featured packed. Um, it's a 50,000 count meter. Uh, it has Bluetooth capabilities. It has a color display. And it takes six AA batteries. And it's all, uh, also IP54 rating, rated. Uh, so that's, that's also a, a good feature. It feels sturdy, very sturdy. Um, the, this rubberized back and all around this meter really feels nice and solid. The meter, don't, it doesn't feel cheap at all. Some things do, like this back. It's kind of feel kind of, uh, it's, well, the plastic, it doesn't feel um, real. Um, it doesn't feel as, like high quality as the flute, but it's not bad. It's not bad, but it doesn't feel as uh, high quality as the Fluke 289's uh, plastic. But, you know, this meter does have a lot of good points about it. And that's the, that's the um, color display. Excuse me for that bump. That's the color display. Uh, and what I like about it also, it powers up kind of quick. Those of you who have a Fluke 289, you know, it takes a little while because it goes through a self-check and, you know, little calibrations or whatever before it comes on. Look how quick this comes on, y'all. That's really quick. So I like that about, um, about this meter. Also, it has a color display that I like. Um, the buttons around here, this is, is much more, it's much larger than the buttons on a Fluke 289. But, uh, you, you know, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. And the backlight have two settings. That's that's the second setting right there. That's very bright. Now, you can't turn the backlight off. It stays on all the time. All the time. And on a fluke, you can turn it on or turn it off. And But the fluke also have um, uh, two stages as far as the light is concerned. The lighting is concerned. Uh, but we're going to go through a few more of these measurements and we'll see right now we have ACDs and just call them out with all the meet, um, small features this multimeter have. Uh, forgive me if I miss a few because this is a feature packed multimeter. I'm trying to get through it all. Uh, have ACDC amps, ACDC milliamps, ACDC microamps, RPM count, Hertz and duty factor. They have continuity, they have beeper, they have a diode and capacitance. They have a millivolt, millivolt temperature. Um, AC-DC. They have volts um, DC and volts AC. Now, when you go into the menu, those of you who have uh, the Fluke 289, look at the, the bottom menu right here. It has the same exact thing like the Fluke does. Hit the setup. They have a display. I'm just going to that right quick to show you guys what what it has. Contrast, date, um, date, time, and they have the format. Let's go back. Let's exit out of that one, and we go to settings again. Let's go into instrument. 
has the settings, beeper, a decibel, backlight, power off, and smoothing. Get back out of here and let's go down to logging. The threshold, to edit the threshold, just like the fluke. Okay, so when we get out of here, let's go back again. Calibration, I'm not gonna go into that, but it's a password for calibration and the calibrate. I don't, I don't wanna mess with that. Okay, let's go again for a secure erase. Erase, um, I guess that's all the data logging that you going to, that you have stored on a meter, it'll completely erase it. Okay, and you also have reset. Let's get this one too. Set up, meter, and uh, let's try to get set up, okay. Uh, it's set up. Let's go back. Let's go down to the meter. Set up the meter. Let's go back. Let's take it out of here. Now, uh, let's go to menu. AC, DC, or AAC. Let's try to see what that is. All right. As rel relative and percentage, peak, math. AC plus DC, AC, DC, DC, or AC. Let's go back to that. Um, duty cycle. Uh, yep, yeah, Hirsch, duty cycles. Okay. Let's go to. And see what else we have. And we have trending. You can also save once we we have save. We have log. That's when you're setting it up, just like the fluke has. Okay. Memory. View. Uh, view the readings. Uh, let's try the log. Min max. And the peak. So, exit out of there. Range manual or auto. I prefer auto. Okay. Uh, and see what else about this meter. It feels sturdy, like I just mentioned. Um, and also have a hold button right here, I'm sorry. A hold button, min-max button right here, the, like the fluke. And they also have an information button, which is right here, that you may want to scroll to to, you know, to tell you about the meter, the soft keys, the range, tell you what all the buttons are for. Um, and you can either go up or down with it. Well, there we go. Okay. You know, um, it's a it's a nice multimeter. I have to admit, it's a very nice multimeter. I don't have anything bad to say about it. Um, you know, they, like like I said, they, it's a copycat of a fluke, but they took some things uh, that the fluke should have done and they made it better. And again, I said I pointed those out, like the display, uh, the startup time, which, you know, it's, I guess compared to this, that's when you only notice it on the fluke. When you put it against something like this and how fast this starts up, and now it lets you see how slow the fluke is. But, um, you know, down the line, we'll do a comparison. Well, I'm gonna do a few, I'm gonna do a few simple tests and we'll see just how accurate. Oh, let me just give you, show you, show you these. Steve. This is the X-Tech Fused. I don't know if you can see the name on here. Uh, let's try this one. Anyway, that's the X-Tech. This is uh, the Fused, fused uh, probes. These did not come with this meter, but these are the ones that I'm gonna use with this meter. Uh, but these are the leads that came with this meter. They're much more thicker 
than the average lead that come with this meter. Um, I will compare these to the Fluke to, uh, TL-27s. They're really thick. These are really thick. So some have real heavy duty test leads. So, but anyway, we're gonna do a few tests. And um, we're gonna see just how accurate, not accurate, but yeah, how accurate this, this multimeter is. So, I have some electrolytic capacitors. I have a, let me see what this is, a, a 330 uh, microfarad electrolytic capacitor. And this is a, a 70 uh, microfarad capacitor. Also, this is a, I have a, a 100 microfarad capacitor. And we're gonna see just how accurate this multimeter can be. So, let me get to menu. Let me exit out of that, I think it's set up. Um, first, let me get on here. No, I can do it from here. Sure, I got this thing right. Here we go. Capacitance. Capacitance. Okay. And this is the. Um, we're going to do the 330 microfarad capacitor first. see two ninety six point five that that's pretty close okay that's for the three hundred thirty microfarad capacitor let's do the I'll do the seven zero seventy microfarad capacitor mm -hmm. saying 407 hold on a minute maybe it's the force this is um Oh no, I'm reading it wrong. I'm sorry, this is a 470. I couldn't tell one of the numbers is off. Okay, I thought it was a 70. 470 microfarad capacitor. So let's do this again. It says 409. Or ten. Okay. And let me do. Let's do this one. One hundred microfarad capacitor. Let's see what happens here with this one. Ninety point six. Ninety-seven point six. Okay, I think it's a pretty, but then spec. So I'm gonna do some DC voltages also, just to um, play around a little bit, and we'll see. Let me see.
have it on 6.3 DC volts. Right now it should be reading 10.1 volts. 10.2, still with the spec. 13.7. Seventeen point one, seventeen point two. On it should be reading twenty-two, even. Um, twenty-six point two, thirty plus a point one, twelve point two. I'm sorry. I'm spot on. Okay. Pass that test. I'm gonna put it on my belly app now. We'll see how what it does on AC voltage. Should be around 24 volts. Yeah, 24 volts. Um, I have it pre written on here. So I'm going to try. Okay, maybe 25, 26 volts right here. 29. This should be 44 volts. That is all. Yep. Right now, it should be on 77 volts AC. I'll put it on 120, see. 120, this would be 120, that is on. What we have here, yeah, 120. has been just doing pretty good. Should be zero out now. Yeah. That's really good. Y'all don't have any, anything bad to say about this multimeter at all. And um, I will be doing a video in the future with this multimeter going up against the Fluke 89. 289, I'm sorry. 289. So stay tuned for that. And uh, if you uh, look at this video and you have subscribed to the channel, please do that now. Um, hit that like button, share button, and you also leave a comment. Uh, my overall opinion about this meter, you know, I, I like it. I really do. I really do like this meter. Um, it's one of... It's one of uh, Edge Tech better meters, I think. Um, uh, you know, a lot of their products are rebrands, but this is one of the better meters. It's a little bit thicker than uh, the Fluke 289. As you can see from the side, this is really thick, but I think it's a real nice meter. I really do. So, um, as always, I won't hold you guys up, but um, I want, but I want you guys to stay tuned. And this was just a short little video, like I always do. And um, I hope you guys liked it. But coming up, there will be a comparison between the Fluke 289 and this Etchtech GX 900. So stay tuned for that. I'm looking forward to it. And um, with that being said, you guys stay healthy. Take care, and as always, peace out.